Saturday morning we had a good night uh, sales yesterday and last night uh, sold six items so that's good and yesterday we got back an item this was a pair of shoes that we had sold a month ago a month and a half ago yeah, at least a month and a half ago and they got lost FedEx lost them so eBay refunded the money to the customer and FedEx said they never picked them up from our local little uh, private postal service it's called coastal postal or postal coastal anyway um, so the people at the postal coastal they say well we gave it to FedEx and FedEx had never clocked it in so it looked like it was still at the postal place I was about ready to kind of get mad at them and say look it's your fault you didn't get a receipt when you gave it to FedEx but anyway didn't have to do any of that stuff so it's a little, a little, a little beat up, I guess you'd say, a little dirty. But anyway, a nice pair of shoes, 50 bucks that we thought we were going to be out. So that's good. They're back. We're going to relist them. And got some shorts, women's shorts that my wife had that she had lost some weight and getting rid of. Lee walking shorts, blue and gray. Uh, $12.99 each. And, um, I don't know what she paid for them, but I mean, she used them for years. So, and here's another pair of her tactical shorts, uh, 511, and she uses those. And Chad says she got rid of those. It's they were too big. So that's what I mean. Go through your house, get your stuff, and sell it, man. These things sold thirteen dollars each. That's almost you know like forty bucks. Um, nice leather jacket. I bought it. Uh, thrift store locally I believe I paid ten ten dollars sold for 45 I believe 45 dollars nice Eddie Bauer leather jacket good condition and all um, pretty nice kind of surprise it sold this time of year but still cool in some parts up north not here in Florida though so that was good oh one of these weird little Funko Pops which I know nothing about bought a lot of them while they shut down off Craigslist off a guy make a little money not much Whoop, don't mess them up um, a couple of these little hair hair uh, tra travel size memory cream I guess like mousse or something got these in a big lot probably pay 50 cent a piece for them sold for $13 for two so that was good so that's all that's going out today got my shoes back so all's well trying to hopefully sell a canoe today got somebody lined up coming from Orlando just check it out I think they're coming up here for something else too so not just for the canoe but anyway got my buddy out there pressure washing the house for me so we can do a little painting that's what we got going on pretty day here in Florida thanks a lot guys see you later bye alrighty it's a Carhartt t-shirt Pretty expensive shirts. It's brand new. I bought it for myself, but the material was kind of the old material is a thick kind of canvas cotton. This is like a stretchy material, which I didn't like so much. Sold for twenty five dollars plus shipping. And it still had the tags and all. So this is an old vintage Florida Gator hat. Uh, it's at least twenty five years old. I got it back then. I don't. I don't even think. I think I got my. I got it used. So I'm not sure how old it is. Sold for fifteen. Just an old hat I had. I got a box full of hats and we'll put a bunch of them on actually. Uh, 15 plus shipping. But if you have the right shipping supplies, shipping can be very easy. The more supplies that you invest in, the easier it makes it on yourself. That's At first I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff, but it just, it just makes it easier on yourself. Just drop it in the bag, seal it up, t-shirt done. This... I put this in a, let's see, I'll probably put this in a Ziploc bag first. I don't have one here, a gallon, just like food Ziploc bag. And then this is a seven by seven box. I'll show you one, I taped up the bottom on this one. And then I just drop it in there. They fit in there pretty nice, real nice actually. You, know, you, don't, you don't wrinkle anything up. Put it in a Ziploc just in case, keep it a little more protected. And they're real light, so they'll go for cheap. Yeah, it's probably about four dollars, three fifty, four dollars. Be uh, five point six ounces, so you go up to eight ounces on that. So probably about four dollars to ship that. 
But that's it for today. Thanks, guys. See you later. Hey there. Good morning. It's Friday. Friday morning. Yesterday, me and my wife went out fishing. I beat her pretty bad for the first time in a long time. But uh, she caught about 10 fish. Nothing good to eat, but some blues and jacks and catfish. Had a good time. Hadn't done that in three months going out on a boat. But anyway, everything went good. It's always good when you don't have any boat troubles. But anyway, this morning I got three things going out. Uh, one of my hats that I bought for, I always forget, $1. fifty, I believe, TJ Maxx. Sell them for $8. So I'll make about $5 profit on that. We got like 50 of them. So eventually they make pretty good money <laughs> in another year or two. But uh, this is old. This is, believe it or not, like a lot of those guys say, this Christmas stuff sells you know, all year long. This is that Spode Christmas stuff. And um, let's see, we got this as a some kind of Christmas gift probably 20, 30 years ago. We just don't use it. We, do, we use a lot of the plates and stuff and serving bowls, but we, we don't use this as a, we put coffee, or it, co coffee in it just to keep it hot, like a thermos that you can pour, say a half a gallon. We had probably a quart of coffee out of it. But anyway, I sold for $35. So that's just to let you know, it's one of those things I put it on kind of, yeah, I've been putting my stuff lately in the middle of the price range instead of, I was not trying to like lowball everybody, but it's like somebody's out for like 25, somebody's out for 45 and you know, put it at 35. Um, eventually the cheaper price ones will sell out. And you know, if you have oddball items, eventually they'll sell out and I get to yours or else if you have good ratings, they'll may I pick you over somebody else. But anyway, I sold $35 plus shipping, which was about the middle. Uh, when I first started, I was a little more eager to get sales, so I tried to undercut everybody. But, anyway, this is a Rainbird sprinkler system uh, timer. So, I got it at a uh, thrift store for three bucks. So I had six, had six bucks on it. I got a half price at that thrift store. If you go to another thrift store, their sister thrift store first, they were letting you, because they had a new store, opened a new store, so they would give you half price. So, anyway. So got it for like three bucks, sold it for 30. And it took mm, a couple months to sell also. They both took a couple months to sell, but worked out good. And just luckily, keep all your Amazon boxes. And uh, this one like fits in there like a glove. So that's good. And then I have another Amazon box that I have for the, for the coffee decanter. But uh, so yeah, keep your, Keep your boxes and sometimes you just have to if you can just price your stuff have, you know if it's in good condition you price it reasonably priced middle and just wait and eventually it'll sell and eBay, ebay is a waiting game a lot of times you're not going to just sell things overnight over and over you know you so if you hang on to it and you have enough items then eventually as they start selling and you have regular sales every day, hopefully. And the more sales you have, they say the algorithm, that's how it works. The more sales you have, the more eBay will push more, more buyers to your products. The more you sell, the more they'll push to you to sell more. So it's, you have to list a lot, but they think that the algorithm is not really how many you list, it's how many you sell. So the more you sell, the more they'll keep sending people. And I think being active and listing some every day is ideal if you can. I don't do that every day. I've been slacking for the last month, I guess, doing other household stuff, but I'm gonna try to get back on to being more regular listing and keeping my numbers up. But anyway, you guys have a good day. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Saturday morning, uh, May, and I uh, went out, actually had some yard sales this morning. It was kind of weird. I had a neighborhood yard sale up the street. And normally they'd have like 30 houses probably they had about maybe 10 having yard sales not that many people going either but it seemed pretty safe out in the yard just stay away from people um didn't find too many good deals just a couple of things nothing really special but anyway i got three items going out um this is my sold a baseball glove for a left-handed person so that goes on the right hand. So the way that they list them or people do is it just says left-handed thrower baseball glove. 
Uh, that shit's all closed up. Bought it for five bucks at the four bucks, four or five dollars at the thrift store. Sold it for twenty plus shipping. So not bad. I forgot to show it to you before I wrapped it up. <laughs> and then I got this game at Marshalls. About five dollars. Sold for seventeen ninety nine plus shipping. So that's not too bad. And this hat. It's got still got the tags on it. I just put it in a one gallon bag now. Throw it in a seven by seven by seven. And that's all there is to that. But so everything going good. Um there's a few things there going out. Just wanted to show you when I ship them out. Saturday I got a couple of got a kayak I got a pressure wash try to sell. Haven't been able to find too many kayaks and canoes to sell lately. But I have a couple of them I need to get ready. See you later. Bye.